Hello, Junior Dino Coders. In this session, I will browse you through Code.org. Code.org is a platform that we will be using for our hands-on exercises. So what's we are waiting for? Let me quickly share my screen to you. You can use it on any of the uh, leading browsers like IE, Safari, Firefox, and type code.org here. You can actually use it on your smartphones and tablets as well. Let me show you about it. As you can see, code.org is a nonprofit dedicated to expanding access to computer science. And if you see the organizations which are supporting it, you will be amazed. This platform is supported by the organizations like Microsoft, Facebook, Amazon, Google, PwC, Vesta, Balmer Globe, Salesforce, and the list is long as you can see here. Let me quickly show you how we need to sign up. So if you already have an account, you can use your email or username and password here and you can directly sign in. Uh, this is the one way. And if you do not have an account, you will have to create an account. Or if you want to continue, you can continue with your Google account, Facebook or Microsoft account as well. Or you can use a section code. What is the section code? This section code is nothing but uh, uh, when you are taking code.org exercises via a teacher, the teacher will be able to provide you a section code which you are supposed to enter here and click on go. I will show you this one as well later on. So these are the various ways, ways you can log in to code.org. Uh, first, I will show you how to create an account in code.org. You need to click on create an account. And I will show you how to create an account using your email ID. Password has to be minimum of six characters. Set up a password, which you will be using to sign up later. Oops. Uh, here you will have to select what kind of account you are going to create. Are you a student or you are a teacher? I am selecting on a student because I am creating it on behalf of one of you. Uh, I will suggest you that you can also follow these steps along with me because we will definitely need an account in code.org for our further exercises. Another thing, if your child is below 13 years of age, parents will have to provide a consent before creating an account in code.org. You can also select, you can also provide parent or guardian email ID here. In my case, it is the same. And you can pick a display name. Age, gender is optional. And then you click on go to my account. You should also actually uh, read terms of service and privacy policy. Go to my account. And your account is ready. You can see, welcome, you have successfully signed up. Okay, so once you have signed up, one way is to find a course. You can start learning by finding a course here. Or another way is again, join a classroom section. So friends, I will be providing you all the classroom sections of Junior Dino Coder in the description box below. If you want to join a section provided by Junior Dino Coders, you can pick one of the section from there and join the section. Now, at this moment, I'm clicking on find a course and let me show you what are the available courses. As you can see, this is the full course catalog. And it has got the courses starting from grade kindergarten till five and then grade six to 12 and then beyond K-12. And, and because this is a foundation course, I am browsing through grades K-5 to five courses. Yeah, as you can see, there are various courses available based upon the age group. Each and every course, when you uh, progress from one course to another course, introduce some new concept. 
So say for example, if a child who is of seven years of age or six years of age, I will suggest that that particular child can directly pick up this course B and then and can act and can complete course C and course D as well. My child who is of seven years of age has actually completed B, C and D all three courses and he loved them. Another good option is these express courses. You can see there are these two express courses given. One is for pre-readers and another is for, ex another is for uh, uh, kids who can actually read. So you can choose one of these courses as well, pre-reader express and express course. I personally like these pre-reader and uh, reader express courses a lot. So let me show you what is there in one of the courses. Let me first show you in pre-reader express because many of the parents have got the questions like my child can't read, how he can do the programming. So let me show you how they can do the programming. As you can see, the how these lessons are designed. It is starts from learn to drag and drop. I'm not taking anything from here. You can explore it. And then the second lesson is sequencing with SCART and then sequencing programming with Angry Bird. I'm clicking uh, on sequencing with a SCART and let's see what is there. So it is very simple. It says, okay, so before uh, completing this exercise or uh, this lesson, let me tell you a little bit about this uh, screen. As you can see the, in this screen, you will see the blocks. These are the blocks that could actually be dragged and dropped from this area to the workspace area. This area is workspace. This area is called workspace, which has got the instructions. You can see on the left-hand side, this particular pane, uh, which shows how the program is executing. You can click on run and you can see how this program is actually executing. So this exercise came already with these two blocks, east and east. You can see that you need to add, go down. And I will click on reset and I will click on. Yes. Yeah, there are other exercises which you can um, try out. Let me quickly show you. Let me quickly show you what is there in uh, Express course for readers. Yeah, in this course, you are seeing there is no lesson on drag and drop because it is assumed that the kids of eight uh, age seven to eight years already are well versed with computer or smartphones or uh, their tablets and they directly start with programming concepts so i'm picking up one of the lessons from here yeah you can see the look of this page also is exactly similar what is the difference in in the block pane instead of the arrows you actually have the actual commands which will be executed. Now, because the kids can read, they can decide which one to use and uh, put on the workspace. So let us complete this quickly. I have put all the blocks here, according to my logic, so that this uh, angry bird will reach to the pig. Avoiding TNT, these TNTs are explosive. Let me run it and show you what happened. Yay, so we completed this puzzle. Okay, so let me quickly show you this express course. This express course is very good to understand the basics of coding. And I will highly recommend your kids to complete this. Once you are done with this particular course, all the exercises and lessons, your child will be good enough to start with lab activities like uh, app lab or game lab. Other things they will be able to get to start with. Once the, ch once the child completes this express course, they will be able to take up the advanced courses on um, 
एप लैब और गेम लैब और एनिमेशन सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट आई रिकमेंड ईच एंड एवरी किट टू कंप्लीट लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द होम पेज अगेन once you move on to the home page again you will see that this course is already assigned under your courses section so that you can continue lesson from where you had left it yes so that's all about code.org platform friends i hope you get a fair idea about this particular platform stay tuned for our next videos in this session and there we will actually start explaining uh, technical things about computer science and coding and we will start doing some hands on exercise so get ready for it